Hi. Yesterday, I made some change into the uh, repository, React Schema Form uh, RC Select. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm planning to build a new application which has a uh, uh, cascade select. I'll just show you the demo first. The demo can be accessed from uh, this repository, NetRNT React Schema Form RC Select. And here is a link to the live demo. From here, you can select the form like I'm trying to build. As an example, it's, it's, uh, it's called conditional query. It contains a country, province, city. If you select a country, like say Canada, you want the province to be uh, re retrieved from the remote server, like only contains provinces within Canada. So I select Ontario, you can see Toronto and uh, Minnesota here. But if, I, let's say, like we select uh, British, uh, British Columbia, the city available only is Vancouver. And if I change the uh, country to US, USA, you can see the province is uh, cleared out immediately because province depending on the country. And you can say select New York State, and then the city will be in New York. So. You can see this is a, like a, a dynamic form. All the drop downs are retrieved from the remote server as an API. We have a reference API uh, hosted in the light, uh, lightapi.net. This is the form definition. It's very easy. You, know, you can see how this works. So if the country is, uh, the form is defined here, this is a schema. Let's uh, walk through schema first. We have re we require the country, uh, province, city, and we have uh, name, country, province, city, defined as the field. They are all string type. And if you go back here, the form definition, the, the type for country is RC select, and action basically is URL, in uh, pointing to the lightapi.net slash r slash data question mark name equal to country. So this is basically just load all the countries available. And uh, the province will be lightapi.net slash r slash data uh, name equal to province. Uh, RELA is a relationship called con country province relationship. And from is the country variable. The country variable actually is coming from uh, the model. In the model, like uh, when you select First, you select a country. You got this model already as USA, for example. Then here, the component, the RC select component, will uh, will basically replace this country to the USA. And this URL go to the remote server. We'll get all the provinces, not provinces, basically US is states, all states from uh, from the US. For the testing data, I don't have that many uh, uh, states populated yet. Uh, so only returns in New York. And the city is the same. If you can if the city is lightapi.net slash r slash data, question mark name equal to city, rather uh, equal to province city. This is province city relationship. And from is the province. So when you get uh, the province or state is your, uh, New York, the only city available is uh, New York City. <coughs> So this is how, how to use this kind of uh, features. Uh, in a lot of applications, you have this kind of cascade select. You select one drop down, based on the uh, value you selected. Other drop down will be populated based on the value selected. You can go through a list of drop down to drill into uh, a final combination. So this is the how we build this uh, uh, RC. RC select. The RC select actually is a part of the plugin for this uh, React schema form. React schema form, you can see here, you can try the demo yourself. Basically, it gives you a way to build a form like on the fly by just uh, provide definitions. The definition can be loaded from the remote server as well. Like uh, you define the form in a schema, JSON schema. And after that, you have a form object to define how the form is supposed to be 
uh, displayed, styled, blah, 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 and the form will be generated. You can see the form. This is the form. Uh, it looks looks pretty good. This is like a, another name field. You can put something over there as well. Um, after the demo application, I'll just walk you through like how this uh, this is implemented in the in the code. Here is the the uh, local product uh, React schema form RC select. Within this, we have an example. The, the demo application actually is just an example, but we don't care about how the example is, uh, is, is created. <clears throat> oh, let's just walk through the example. You, you can see we have so many um, data defined here. Conditional query JSON is just a JSON file I showed you like uh, from the UI. You can have dynamic others, uh, dynamic select. For example, this goes to just a get country code. Uh, single, this is a single select. Actually, this is a multi select. You can see we got a read. You can select multiple countries. And um, you can even, using the test data, uh, the JSON file, like from your application, so that you can uh, use re relative reference data slash uh, test data JSON to populate the form. And this is a multi select. You can see you can. Uh, select multiple tags. So let's walk through the uh, component itself. So within the component, it's a it's a, a React select uh, extend uh, our uh, React component. We basically have uh, the status URL. Uh, current value and uh, items. Items is something returned from the remote server. One uh, component D amount, we basically get uh, the form action and the model uh, based on the action. If the action is not, not now, then we get the URL from the action. And after that, we do the replacer to replace all the dollar uh, bracket values to the uh, to the real like a model value from uh, the model which is selected before. The replacer is here. This is a replacer <coughs> function. Sorry. It's basically iterate uh, uh, this uh, template and then uh, using the data to replace the value. And if there is no value. We just don't replace it, keep the dollar so that uh, you can see the logic like if we, uh, if the URL still contains the dollar sign uh, and the bracket, we, we, don't, we don't want to send to the remote server to retrieve the data because you cannot get anything. So you can see here the logic. If the new URL uh, includes dollar sign uh, left uh, bracket, then you don't do anything. If it's not equal, not include this, we'll basically uh, get the current value, and then fetch from uh, from URL. Uh, very similar logic like for uh, component did update. When you update the component, for example, you select one drop down. You want the other job, uh, depending drop down to be clear up. And after that, pop repopulate based on the re uh, remote server response. It's similar. It's just uh, get uh, fetch from uh, from the remote, and you can see the fetch from remote. It basically fetch the URL, and after the URL is fetched, update is uh, set to state uh, with the current value and um, and items. This is current value set to empty, meaning uh, we're just a clear up, like because uh, when you retrieve a new list of values, supposedly like uh, there nothing is selected, and we set the new URL into the state URL so that the next time when uh, the component uh, is updated you can compare the new URL to the existing URL so that you can decide if you want to retrieve from the remote or not. So the logic is pretty simple. And uh, 
the most important is replacer logic. Like it's, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out how the replacer works. Because sometimes like if the value doesn't exist in the, in the model, you might get uh, undefined uh, replaced. So there's a, a condition here. If you don't have the value expected in the model, then don't replace it with undefined, but just skip it. Once you skip it, there is still a dollar sign in the URL, so it will never send any request to the remote server. So that's pretty much like uh, how this component works. <coughs> and uh, it works pretty good. And uh, I'm gonna build a new application based uh, using this component. Yeah, that's all. Thanks, bye-bye.